In this video, let us solve problems based on basic proportionality theorem. So here we've got a problem which reads like this. Now figure PQ is parallel to MN if uh, KP by PM equals 4 by 13 and KN equals 20.4 centimeters, find KQ. So now in triangle KMN, we've got PQ parallel to MN. That is what is given. Here it is. PQ is parallel to MN. So that is one data we've got. So therefore, so what happens now if, if a side is parallel to one side of a triangle, then what does it do? That side divides the other two sides in the same ratio. That's what we've learned from the basic proportionality theorem. So therefore, we've got now KP by PM equal to KQ by QN, right? So this follows from basic proportionality theorem. BPT is the abbreviated form of basic proportionality theorem, right? So now we've got KP by PM as 4 by 13 and we've also got KN as 20.4. We need to find KQ. So how do we solve this? So let's retain KP by PM and let us also write KQ as it is. But QN can be written. Now we, we've got Q, uh, KN. We've got to use that data, right? So now QN can be written as KN minus KQ, right? Qn is nothing but Kn minus Kq because we need to use this. So we need to write Qn in terms of Kn minus Kq. So we've got Kp by Pm as 4 by 13 equals Kq by 20.4 minus Kq. So now it's pretty simple. It's a simple equation. We just have to solve for Kq. So here it is. So 4 times 20.4 minus Kq equals 13 times kq right so 4 times 20.4 is nothing but 81.6 minus 4 times kq let me draw a line here equals 13 times kq so we've got 81.6 equals 13 kq 13kq plus 4kq because the negative 4kq goes to the right right hand side and then becomes plus 4kq. So we've got 13 plus 4kq, 81.6 equals 17kq. So kq is nothing but 81.6 over 17, which is nothing but 4.8 centimeters. So hence we found kq using the concepts of basic proportionality theorem now another thing that i should mention at this point in time is we need to find kq and that is the reason why we are writing qn in terms of kq and kn in case we had to find qn we would have written kq as kn minus qn so if you ever wondered why this and why not replace kq because we had to find kq right all right let's solve another problem quickly So here we have another problem which reads like this. In a given triangle ABC, you can see that DE is parallel to BC and AD by DB is, is of the ratio 3 by 5 and AC is 5.6. This is not really different from the previous problem. We need to find AE. Last time we found KQ, here we are finding AE. That's all is the difference. So again, in the triangle ABC, We have DE parallel to BC given here data. That's a given data. So as a result of D being parallel to BC, we have AD by DB equals AE by EC. This is by the basic proportionality theorem. So now again, we know what is AD by DB. And we need to find AE, so retain AE. EC can be written as 
AC minus AE. So we can write AD by DB as 3 by 5 because that's the given data. And we've got AE as nothing because we have to find AE. AC is 5.6, so 5.6 minus AE. So now it's again a very simple mathematical equation. We just have to find, solve for AE. So let's cross multiply. Then we've got 3 times 5.6 minus AE equals 5 times AE, right? So now we've got 3 times 5.6 is nothing but 16.8. 16.8 minus 3 times AE is given by, sorry, equals 5 AE. So 16.8 equals 5 AE plus 3 AE because the negative AE goes to the right, to the right hand side. So we've got 16.8 equals 5 plus 3 AE is nothing but 8 AE. So we've got AE equal to 16.8 over 8, which is nothing but 2.1 centimeters. So we found AE to be equal to 2.1 centimeter using the concepts of basic proportionality theorem. So let us solve more problems based on this concept in the forthcoming videos. Thank you.